Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I have a brand new USB hub, not just regular USB hub. This USB hub has three shortcuts buttons that does six different things. So each button does two things. So it can command two different functions in the car like opening glove box or folding the side view mirrors or opening passenger door. So in today's video, I'll show you what comes in the box. This USB hub is from YesLag and then after that I'll show you a quick step-by-step -step installation. It's really easy to install. It shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 minutes to install and then we'll test it out in my Tesla Model Y. Now let's go. Let's see what comes in the box of these shortcut buttons, USB hub station for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y from YesLag. It's really simple um, connections here. So this is the rear center console. I believe the rear center console will be the port connector and it's wireless. So this will communicate with the docking station and buttons wirelessly. You don't have to run the cable at all. You just have to connect this to the rear center console or the port. And this is the USB hub station docking station itself so you have USB-C here the port to charge your device and you can still charge one more device from the inside center console port because you just need one USB right here to plug in this is USB-C to plug in the one of the two port inside your center console compartment and these are the three hot keys or shortcut buttons. These are physical buttons, by the way. They are lit up at night too. I'll show you in the video later. And came with two spares. This is the cutout port right here. So you can get your cable or your charging cable out from the inside. And trim removal tools. And also instruction you know, it's really um, simple and easy to install, really quick, it should be um, longer than 10 to 15 minutes. And these are the list of the shortcuts that you can do. We're going to test it later in the video. Alright, now we saw everything that came in the box. Let me show you how you can get these shortcut buttons built into the USB hubs for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. You can get this USB hub with special shortcut buttons from YesLag or YesLag.com. And right now they are having a really good promotion. By using my special discount code DTC20, you'll get extra 25% off. So from 129 down to less than $100 here. Before we continue with the upgrade in my Tesla, let me introduce you to our latest upgrade to our house. Some of you may know we just recently moved from California to Colorado and the thing I love about Colorado homes is this awesome basement and the house that we got have really really cool basement and we found the perfect seat, a theater seat for our basement from Valencia Theater Seating. Valencia theater seating made out of this really really high quality Italian real Naba leather. It makes you feel like you're sitting in an ultra luxury car but inside of your home and enjoy the movie. The cushion on the seat were designed to be both comfortable and economic so I can feel really really relaxed while sitting on this awesome seat. The seat also equips with fully power and adjustable lumbar support. Also fully adjustable and power headrest support. And not only that, just a touch of the button, you can fully recline the seat to your most comfort position. Another feature that I love about this theater seating are these LED lights. They are interchangeable underneath the seat and around the cup holders. You can change to any color you want. I also love the perforated diamond stitching on the seats. Super comfortable both in the hot 
and warm weather. The seat also came with this armrest storage space on all three of them. Very convenient, you can put iPads, books, magazine, whatever you want to put storage in your seat or even remote control so you don't lose it. It's our basement and it came with really cool LED lights on the top. That's why I said it's this recliner, home theater seating is perfectly fit our basement. The comfort and relaxation from this Valencia theater seating it's unlike anything I ever experienced before. Thank you so much Valencia Theatre Settings for sponsoring this video. Check out Valencia Theatre Settings. I'll make sure to put the link in the description down below. Now let's continue with the video. First step here, let's connect this transmitter box to the rear OBD port in the back of the center console here. But before we do that, we have to Make sure to turn off the car first, so go to main menu and then safety and then just power off. After that, we can use this included trim removal tool to remove this part right here, this panel on the bottom. Um, there's no screw at all, just use this tool to apply it out. you go so now you see this is the OBD connector the OBD port that will be getting all the information and access to the car first just disconnect the blue port from the car the blue plug from the car and then connect the white plug that came with the USB hub here you go and then plug the blue one over here back in there you go so it's basically getting all the information from the car and sending the signal back to the car and some power for this wireless transmitter and that's it now we can try I think I'm just gonna leave the box outside or you can try to fit try to fit this box in here I think it should fit let's try and just close it that's it next let's install the USB hub it's really easy um, this will need the power from underneath here so we have to, to plug this one in and then just open the compartment and then just turn it a little bit and then put it back in and that's it just slide it down now we just have to connect one of the USB C in here is one two right here as you can see so just plug it to one of them now it's powered here you go you see it was blinking I think it's trying to communicate with that box over there it also has the LED lights for your compartment here so extra a little bit extra lights down here looks really really clean looks really um, OEM is blending with the center console here with everything it connects to the transmitter the wireless transmitter is super fast it in like two seconds because as soon as I plugged it in the lights was blinking and solid right away so when it's solid it means it's connected now let's try the hotkeys first okay let's start with the shortcut on the right hand side first the first one on the right hand side so if you press and hold the rear door as you can hear the rear passenger door this one on the right hand side will open let's go check it out it's unlatched but it's not open all the way you can see so you have to still press and then open and close um, I think I know a reason why I think since the software update even with your um, with your app let me show you yeah even with the Tesla official app with the door unlatched button as you can see 
doesn't come out all the way. See, I can't open the door. It's unlatched, but it didn't open the door. I still have to press the door to open it. So it triggered the same way that it does on the app. That's why it didn't, it didn't open all the way. So to unlatch the passenger door, so this will help unlatch the door, but doesn't open the door. Double click on this button. As you can hear, it opens. It goes, check it out. As you can see, it's unlatched it, but it didn't open all the way. So you still have to press and then open it. Let's check out the second button here. You press and hold, and then the glove box will open. This is definitely one of the most useful button here. And then by double click this button, the entire car dome light will turn on. So two in the back for Model Y, two in the front. So this is really, really helpful because this skip a few steps from here. So you have to press here and then go to lights and then go to turn on dome lights here. So skip all that entire process and just double click it here and then we'll turn off. And this button right here, you press and hold. So the side view mirror will fall again, press and hold again. And the side view mirror will unfold. So this is, if you double click, then the it will preheat the battery. Let's try. As you can hear, the battery is preheating. As you can hear, it's preheating the battery. Same thing, you just double click, then it stopped preheating. I can hear it right away. So it does it, but it doesn't show on the screen or the app because it cannot overwrite um, the computer on the car. It just sends out the signals to order the car to do it but it doesn't show on the screen but yeah all the button works it's just a door opening door that's not fully um, working because of the software on the car won't allow the door to open all the way out I think just for the safety issue because the door unlatched just to help the door crack open so it's easier for you to open when you know when it's out and freezing snow outside all right now let's test out the docking or the charging port right here so there's one more charging port available as you can see here on the right i can just plug the usb c in and then get the cable out there you go As you can see, it's charging right now. And you still can use this USB-C port. All right, as you can see, everything works as supposed to, and it looks super clean. Love how they matches really well with the center console. And it has this light, so the light underneath will operate when I open this, you can see. So it has this little switch right here this switch so when you close turn off so it's not like on all the time only the lights is on all the time are these um, buttons lights as you can see it's lit up at night the USB hub with shortcut buttons looks really really good inside Tesla Model 3 and Model Y it blends really well on the center console of the car it matches the color and the style and it adds that extra shortcuts functions on the USB hub not just to charge your devices anymore love the shortcut for the glove box of course and then the side view mirrors um, the preheat really really useful too and only a few things that I wasn't impressed because 
of the door it doesn't it didn't open all the way i hope you know it opens all the way otherwise it would be really useful for let's say uber driver if you drive uber and you know a lot of passenger that never sit or never have tesla before they have a hard time try to you know open the door from the outside because of the door handle so it would be really useful to have this shortcut cut button to open the door for your passenger so that's really awesome idea and it's really convenience location i love where it is it's just easy to press and use it let me know in the comment down below about this shortcut buttons for tesla model 3 and model y from yes lag i'll make sure to put the link of this shortcut buttons in the description down below too and special discount code for you thank you so much guys for watching today's video and don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe for more awesome contents like this we'll see you on the next video peace